O oh, black magic, what curse will you place on us? What lies in your witch's cauldron of hope? So on paper, the black magic pocket cinema camera 4K with 59 syllables looks to be a decent camera. Spec-wise, it pretty much out-delivers everything, including Pizza Hut delivery men who have given up in life and have reached for the stars and landed on the grassy hills of their front lawn in an apartment that they rent from more successful people than them. So in today's video, my friend, we are going to discuss some of the disgusting aspects of this camera. Where I think they went wrong, is that enough to deter you from buying it? Let's find out. They use electronic stabilization It makes your video look like you're on a bad vacation you do it? Before we get started today, I do get a lot of complaints that my bed is not made and you deserve better than that, so... So when this Blackmagic Voodoo camera was first announced I made a video comparing it in my mind in my monkey mind to the GH5 line so if you want to know my thoughts on the Blackmagic camera versus the Panasonics, go watch that video. And I got a lot of complaints on that video saying, this is for professionals, not vloggers, not YouTube losers like you. This is for real cinematography, something you'll never know in your life. It's not my fault the Blackmagic guy did an interview and he held it up and he was like, look, this is good for vlogging. He said it himself. You know what his selling point was? That the record button was right there. Because obviously you're not holding a tripod, you're holding the camera in your hand like a jackass wolf. Fucking wolf with opposing thumbs. A new species just discovered. So he said it and I dissected it like an insect, saying no, that is not a vlogging camera, you're missing every single key feature that I would need. All right, let's get to the point. I'm dancing around like a prom couple, afraid to love. No longer. So let's get into the key areas where I think they ruined this camera's chance at filming my face. Key number one, that stupid screen on the back. Here's what I will say about that screen. Either go all the way with it, or back it off, Tony. How did that screen even pass the janitorial section of that company? That's what I want to know, in fact, I think I do know. Alright guys, we gotta stand out with this one. The GH5 Asterisk came out. We gotta beat it. We gotta beat it down. So, may I propose we put a big screen on the back. That's a great idea, Tony. We'll have the best screen in the business. You got it, pal. Four and a half inches. Biggest screen on the market. OLED. Frickin' OLED. Tony, they're not gonna know what hit them. This is gonna be great. You bet your ass it will be. Best screen on the market, so we'll fix it to the camera, lock it in place, make sure it doesn't tilt or anything. Okay, you can do that. But you, you don't want it to tilt up or down? No, zero tilt. Just don't even, not even a wiggle. Not even the slightest bit. May I propose that we at least just allow it to tilt up? Just for our waist level shooters. They have arthritis, Tony. Come on, please. But you just do this with your neck. You're holding it. You, you move your neck inside your chin there. Right? We get so many complaints about the neck pain, Tony. And what about the, the high crowd shooters who like to see? What about them? I fucking hate those crowd assholes. And f tilt it up just a little bit just to piss them off. Fix tilting up just slightly so they can't even see it. I want them to punish themselves. You're a madman, Tony. Here's why I think that screen was the dumbest thing they could have done. It's so good, yet so unusable. It doesn't even tilt. I'm demanding fully articulation. At least the tilting is a bare minimum. And you don't even do that. So I guarantee you, any videographer worth their salt and pony meat is gonna need to put an external monitor on the thing and then you got this giant heavy screen that's useless on the back. Go full bore or F off. So just for camera companies of the future, if you're not going to let us do this, just take the damn screen off. Make it a little midget screen that doesn't weigh anything, you stupid ass. 
You wasted so much space, the weight, the battery life sucking of it. Just take, give it a little mini screen, a little, one of those black LCD screens that gives us like a cartoon picture of what we're filming. Save the space and then partner with a company that like does the external monitors and then you do a little giveaway or something, you losers. It's just such a giant waste of potential. If you would have fully articulated it, I'd be like blown away. A fully, that's in my dream camera video if you haven't seen it. That's one of my dream features, a bigger screen that fully articulates. When are we gonna get it? I don't want these little tiny three inch screens. I got enough three and a half inch things in my life. It'd be like designing the most comfortable steering wheel for your car, but it's locked in place and it doesn't move. And you get in, you're like, how do you turn it? Oh, the, the sharp inner wheel in, with the blades on it, that's what you use to turn. This is just to rest your hand on when you're not turning. Just turn it with the sharp one inside. I know. We weren't thinking straight. So they fucked up. They fucked up on that. So the next feature that sucks, the autofocus is not good. From what I've seen, pretty much unusable. And oh, real videographers would use manual focus only. They can tell the exact distance of every human being on this planet. They never miss it. Have you ever tried that? You ever try manual focusing out in the town? Yeah? I tried to track a lizard once. He was stationary on a tree and I was slowly walking towards him. And I felt like I was gonna die of a heart attack. It was hard. It's hard. You can't trust that peeking. It's just annoying. It's annoying as shit. Autofocus should be like a demanding aspect of life in today's cameras. That's why I want to get out of this whole Micro Four Thirds system. It's not good. It's the only bad thing about this camera. I have the Panasonic G85 and at times it looks brilliant, the autofocus, you're just like... And it tracks you. But then it'll pulse and you question your life and your sexuality when that happens. Just in and out shit. That's the main reason I want to upgrade my camera now. I never thought I would need autofocus because it wasn't very reliable back when I was looking for these cameras. And so I always manual focused, even in my early days on YouTube. I would tap to focus, lock it, boom, we're good to go. I didn't like that pulsing. But now, it's doable. With the Sony and the Canon, I think Sony has surpassed the Canon in autofocus capabilities. Especially with the new Canon R release, it seems like they downslided a bit. Sony's pulling ahead. It's acceptable and fun. It's fun. I have fun. I enjoy swinging my head into shot, letting that focus grab on. It's literally the most fun I've ever had in my life. That brings us to the lack of stabilization in the camera. I just, I'm so disappointed. I'm so disappointed. Not that just because of the other two features lacking, this is just a stab in the wound. They're already wounded. You're just like stabbing them further in the same wound. Stabilization is the key to life. If you're filming yourself, that's the most important thing. In my opinion, audio may be first, then stabilization. Then you start worrying about, is your video in focus? Does it look nice? If you got a shaky ass thing, I saw some video a long time ago when I was reviewing the M50. I th no, it was the M5. And she was like, I got this thing. And it's like the shakiest thing I've ever seen in my life. I was like, you'd be better off with this little Sony, but you don't do it. You don't listen. Oh, this is high quality. APS-C. I'll APS-C you later, bitch. Unsubbed. <laughs> so if you buy this Voodoo camera, you have to have it on a gimbal. You have to have an external monitor. The microphones, you put these giant microphones that's another thing just like the screen people are gonna use a shotgun mic or some other kind of external audio and then you waste resources by making these giant microphones and they're right where your grip touches your hand touches them i've seen the reviews of people saying yeah i ruined my whole clip because i was touching the thing rubbing it like a like a teenager go rub yourself asshole this brings it all back to just either go for it or back it off a notch. Make like amazing mics then, but put them in the right place and extend them out somehow. Make them extendable. Just like a shotgun mic 
I wish most shotgun mics would just come extended, like right up here. There needs to be a mount, a hot shoe mount that's like this boom arm. That would be ridiculous, but I would buy it. I'd buy the shit out of that. So that's enough for me to say no thank you. You guys don't know what you're doing usability wise, even though you'll probably have like one of the cleaner looking images, the best quality, it'll grade the best, you can push it. I'll push you off a cliff, but your black magic voodoo ass will probably float off that cliff, you witch, you're a witch. So there's my review of the black magic pocket camera. I'm a camera channel and I insult all camera companies and they'll never send me anything. It's not a smart business decision. I'm not all here, upstairs. I've burned all my bridges in the industry. I don't know what I'm doing in life in general. On a side note, I'd like to thank my buddy Potato Jet. He had some kind words for me at the end of his video. It pays to watch to the end. Don't skip that comment reading section, although I will say this. If I see one more up related comment, I will hunt. I'll just start hunting humans. It's done. The joke's done. It's no longer. Don't even read it, Potato Jet. Discipline yourself and move on from it. Just, no. We get it. I'm up. We got it. Every single joke has been said. There's none left. We're done. Like you so much. Go subscribe to Potato Jet. One of the best camera reviewers, entertainers, just very enjoyable channel. Thank you so much for doing good work and mentioning me. I look forward to all of them. I do believe all 167,000 of his subscribers subscribe to me. That's how shoutouts work. Usually, you give a shoutout, then every single person goes. So that's cool. Thank you so much. Thank you everybody who's got a camera conspiracy shirt. I think we're done here for today. What do you think of that black magic camera? I think it's a waste of time. Myself? Don't even waste your time. We're still waiting. So hopefully someone gets it right soon, and then we buy something. So that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you in the next one.